Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more about the sources. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Archaeologists in India have discovered petroglyphs in the state of Maharashtra that, according to the official science, are at least 12,000 years old. The most amazing thing is that these petroglyphs belong to the ancient civilization, still unknown to science. At present, archaeologists are said to have only touched this historical treasure of more than 400 petroglyphs. The initial determination of the age of these petroglyphs is 10,000 years BC, but it is quite possible that they are much older. Surprising, not only the huge age of the petroglyphs and virtually unknown civilization that left them, but also the diversity of the drawings themselves, which depict people, animals, birds, all kinds of symbols and more. It is also surprising that among the drawings, one can find such animals that simply do not exist in India, for example, hippos or rhinoceroses. Whether in ancient times they lived on this territory or there were natives of Africa. By the way, let's talk about celebrity world seems interesting to talk about this today. Vogue photo shoots are featured in nearly every celebrity we talk about because this iconic magazine has been owned and operated by the occult elite for decades. Most countries and regions have their own edition of Vogue, an efficient way of diffusing the elite's agenda in local markets. But that being said, Vogue probably reached a new low in July, when the magazine mixed war and fashion in a bizarre photo shoot that raised more than a few eyebrows. Idled Portraits of Bravery, the photo shoot features Ukrainian First Lady, Alina Zelenska, posing for the camera wearing various fashion brands, with war in the background. Immediately after its release, critics stated that the photo shoot glamorized war. That's not far-fetched at all. The pictures literally mix war with the glamour of fashion and celebrity. Zelensky and Zelenska pose for Vogue, as if they were the hottest celebrity couple. I mean, he's an ex-actor, and she's an ex-screenwriter, so they know all about show busyness. The mere idea of posing for fashion pictures as people are suffering, shows how the elite is completely disconnected from reality. Speaking of disconnected from reality, Bella Hadid is yet another celebrity that released an NFT thingy that no one cares about. The video selling it is replete with monarch programming symbolism, exactly like Madonna's NFT, which was featured on a recent post. The video is all about Bella being covered with monarch butterflies. The name is Cy Bella. Because she's a cyborg, a symbolic way of portraying an MK slave. Because cyborgs are programmed. Bella turns into a giant monarch butterfly with wires coming out of her. I don't think they can get more blatant with this MK Ultra stuff, and most people still do not see it. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Another industry slave that's been discussed at length on this channel is Lil Uzi Vert, pronounced Lil Lucifer. Nearly everything he ever did contains satanic symbolism, and it keeps getting worse. 
In this pic posted on Instagram, Lil Uzi Vert basically channels Baphomet, the androgynous horn god of the occult elite. If you need further proof that he's all about complying with the elite's agenda, media recently announced, with great enthusiasm, that Lil Uzi Vert's pronouns are now they are them. How long will he keep up with this complete BS move that's all about publicity? Speaking of complete BS, Demi Lovato recently went back on her brave and courageous decision of going by there them. In past video, I highlighted how Demi was completed confused about this whole non-binary thing, as if it wasn't her idea in the first place. Of course, she didn't, she's an industry slave who keeps going into rehab, code for programming. And the symbolism surrounding her new album keeps proving it. The promotion of her latest album, Holy FVCK, is all about satanic occult elite symbolism. In a new promotional pic, Light forms a blatant one-eye sign, indicating that she's owned and has no control over her life or career. As seen in previous video about celebrities, C is back with a new album, and, as usual, mass media is gushing over her. News outlets particularly loved the fact that she removed the word spaz from one of her songs, after some people decided that the word was offensive. Nothing makes media happier than the Orwellian blacklisting of words. In the many articles spazzing out over C, this is the picture we usually see. BNC makes a blatant one-eye sign while wearing an outfit that's highly reminiscent of Baphomet's head. The message is, she's still an industry slave. The title of her single, Break My Soul, says it all. Long ago, I shocked many by explaining how this goat head outfit was a tribute to Baphomet. Nothing has changed. This is Korean actress, Han So-hee. As you can see, she's doing a blatant one-eye sign. This pick in itself is rather uninteresting, but it is necessary to understand these next pics. So-hee recently posted drawings on Instagram that caused her fans to worry about her well-being. Because they're rather disturbing. This bizarre drawing depicts a dog-like person that's held by some kind of red leash around the stomach. Bizarrely enough, so he is currently recovering from an injury while filming an upcoming drama. Did she actually undergo some type of trauma-based programming? In another disturbing drawing, there's a silhouette with red eyes and a blotch of red on the torso. Underneath, Albert Camus's quote, and never have I felt so deeply at one, and the same time so detached from myself and so present in the world. That's a rather poignant way of describing the dissociation of MK slaves. The art style of her drawings is reminiscent of Kim Noble's body of work, an MK slave who described her abuse through horrific yet revealing paintings. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.